you know, you're right to point out the fact that if they took a second to look at the uh, RNC platform, to look at Donald Trump's platform and his campaign and the things on which he's running, they are very common sense. This is a guy, to your point, who has gone through hell. Indictments, impeachments, an assassin's bullet, mugshot, you name it, they have done it to Donald Trump. He didn't need to come back and run for president. He would have had a much easier life having done nothing, having sat on the sidelines and said, you know what, I'm going to let everybody else deal with this mess. I've had enough. But he didn't do that. He is here fighting for this country because he knows he can do the job that is necessary. And I have to tell you, the lies that I've heard over the past three days have been it's been so hard to watch this. I mean, my gosh, it is it is abysmal at best to, to try and watch these things. Whether it's lying about Project 2025, which almost all of them did, Joe Biden came back out with the very fine people hoax in his speech, which Snopes came out a month ago, finally seven years later, and said that's not true. By the way, Donald Trump said, except the neo-Nazis and white supremacists, he denounced them totally. And then, of course, abortion, which is really what this this whole entire DNC is surrounding. Yes. They have an, a mobile abortion van. You get yeah. a taco and an abortion, a vasectomy and a, a snow cone yep. at the DNC. And they have continued to lie about Donald Trump wanting to sign a federal abortion ban. They can't actually operate, Rob, in truth and reality, because the truth is no one wants to buy what they're selling. No one wants four more years of the three and a half we've just had to live through. This country will not survive. People cannot make it. And they know they cannot be honest. So they lie and they trash Trump. That's the yeah. whole DNC wrapped up in a little box for you. There you go. That, that, 